Okay guys, I'm about to put together yet another uh, brushed micro build and I wanted to make this little quick video because I get this question asked a lot, can you make a build video? And really there's not a lot to these things because, um, well, they're pretty modular now. So I'll show what I did here so far and uh, I'll put a link to this video which is the FPV backpack that I already made a video on and um, I'll put a little link here in the corner for a little card so you can click on that if you want to see how this is built but all this is is the uh, Banggood camera and we have a little FX758 uh, video transmitter and a Pololu and I have a little connector here which I can either connect a 1S battery or connect the other connector here that's on my brushed F3 board here which connects to my 1S battery over here and this um, down steps or I'm sorry up steps the voltage from uh, 1S to 5 volts and also filters the power so you get clean video I decided to for this setup to go with a uh, linear whip antenna instead of the circular polarized antenna I'm going to test that out see if uh, the video is any any worse or better but the uh, connections are really really easy got ground 5 volts audio, video, and then um, over here you got the power coming into the Pololu, that's voltage in, and then voltage out and ground going to the same uh, 5 volts and ground over here, and that's it for the FPV system. So I can, I can move this from another frame to another, and this is actually what, I, what I've been doing is I, I build these and I, I can move them around if I want to. Um, uh, what I'm not showing here is I also have an optional uh, little mount that I could use uh, put onto this camera so that I could get some adjustable tilt angles. I uh, I couldn't find it. Uh, it's in my drawer of stuff that's lost forever. I, I'll probably find it eventually. But there's, in some of my other videos, see a little 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 mount that will tilt the uh, camera, and uh, I'll eventually put that on here, and that and I can move it around. So the FPV uh, system plugs in through this 1.25 millimeter JST connection to the brushed micro board and this is the board the same board that I just did a video on uh, regarding this uh, iRange X uh, FreeSky receiver where I did the telemetry which is the same board I uh, soldered on the micro low C connector here and the other micro JST connector on the other side so the voltage goes to the FPV system and then I soldered on these little connectors here for the motors. Um, <clears throat> now the, um, the the pitch of these uh, holes is a little bit is not 1.25 millimeters so I had to spread them out a little bit so it's not the uh, prettiest um, soldering job but it, it'll it'll work and um, uh, uh, is that these holes are a little bigger than the ones that are on the size keyboard so you should be aware of that because you won't be able to stick them in it's a really tight fit but I wanted to actually go at the sides on this frame you know, to keep everything kind of flat so I'm gonna have it kind of like kind of like this and actually I'm gonna have the receiver in the middle there and then put the uh, the uh, video transmitter up on top and then just uh, double sided foam tape everything together but then uh, just got my spin tag motors here with uh, the JST connectors now so I'm just gonna pop in the motors plug them into the board plug in my FPV system and I'm ready to fly, so there's really not much to this build, so maybe I'll uh, pop this together real quick and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, so here it is all assembled. I got the props on and everything. Uh, very simple. This is a um, Picnic Quads polycarbonate frame. I think it's a 120 size. Put the uh, receiver back here on, on this post here. I just zip tied it and I used a little uh, double sided foam tape just to prevent it from sliding around and then uh, didn't really do much with the wire just let them go underneath here and then uh, they're soldered into the board like before I plugged in my uh, FPV system and it's plugged in right there and that wire is going to the battery lead over there and there's the battery lead motors are really easy just 
stick them in the holes and run the cables into over here and then plug in the connectors and then I just zip tied the camera mount took me about an hour to find it but I found it and uh, stuck the camera in there zip tied it onto this front post here I have the uh, video transmitter um, stuck down on the uh, flight control board with a little bit of uh, double sided foam tape back there you can see that and uh, that's it it's all built ran the uh, always ran the um, receiver antenna through here under here through this hole and uh, here tied it off here put some tape over here I just have it dangling off the back should be fine um, not likely to be cut and I'm just having my uh, my linear video transmitter antenna here should be fine too it's up out and out, up and out of the way so all together we're at 44 grams throw in one of my 500 million hour lipos and 56 grams for the whole thing 57 grams so that would be the uh, flying weight of this guy right here not bad anyway guys quick little build video of this uh, new micro quad uh, I'm going to be testing out the the iRange X uh, micro free sky receiver and seeing how, how it does in terms of range um, and uh, whether I lose any signal, get any fail safe, anything like that but uh, I haven't had any problems so far but I've just been messing around with it in the house so look for more videos in this guy pretty soon I'll talk to you guys later